Hi, my name is Andres Quintero and today I will give you 5 tips for better travel photography. Let's go! Travel photography allows us to capture unique and beautiful moments. With that said, we don't want to come back home and see that we didn't do the photos as we expected. I'm about to give you 5 tips that are going to help you with travel photography. They are not universal truths, but in my experience they have been good to get better photography. Tip number 1. Find the sunset. The sunset is a really beautiful time of the day and it's amazing for making travel photography. In the sunset, this beautiful landscape you're watching will look 10 times more beautiful. Everything looks nicer. The sky, the rock, the mountains, it doesn't matter. Everything shines with the sunset. As well, the skin looks softer and this time of the day gives a really unique look to the photo. It is very important to come early to the place that you want to photograph before the sunset. The sunset is like super short. So if you want to make a good photograph, yeah, better be ready for it. For instance, here are some photos I made in Boca de Inferno in Lisbon. If you speak Portuguese, let me know if I say it correctly. I came before the sunset to the place and made some landscape photography. It was already looking amazing. But when the sunset came, the photos I achieved had really, really nice colors and it just took them to the next level. I really liked it how it looked like. Another beautiful moment that I had the opportunity to capture was in the desert of Dubai. It was really, really nice. Just check the color of the skin of the model. Look how soft and look how everything looks like. It's really amazing. You can as well play with the sun. You can position it in front of your model. You can put it behind the model and the highlights that it produces are really, really cool. You can play with it and see how the result come. And don't forget to come early. With that said, look for the sunset. Your photos will look better. Tip number two, find a better angle. Have you ever been into a place where the tourists are making a line to make a photo exactly in the same spot? Everyone wants the photo in the same place. This is not always the best solution for making travel photography. Try to look into another place. Go to the right, go behind, go above. Try to see if there is another place where you can make a better photo. You will be surprised with the results you will make and you will have a different photo from everyone else. It may also be bad as well, but it is worth giving it a try. Tip number three, context. We want to know what is around in the place where you are. If you simply put an object in front of the camera, this will provide a better idea of where are you and what is around. Just put some plants, a rock. If you're in a restaurant, just put the shares of the place. Just put anything that gives us some context of where you are. In this example on a monastery, I just wanted to show the beautiful architecture this place had. If you make the photo in the same spot everyone is doing it, probably you won't get as much three-dimensionality as if you put some objects so we know where are you and how does it look like. Tip number four, use the other tourists in your favor. We all had to deal with a lot of tourists like us <laughs> in order to make a photo and it's very difficult, but you can use them too. It will give us an idea of how is the place, what does it look like. Of course, you don't want to make a panoramic with every single tourist there making something not so cool. But there is many methods you can use to make them look really cool. For starting, if we see people on a photograph, we have a better idea of the scale. How big are the objects, how big is a statue, how big is the building, and so on. So, it is already a good idea to have people in your travel photos. As well, if a tourist is doing something that looks really, really cool, this photo will look very nice, just go ahead and take it. But you need to check the rules on the place where you are. There are some places where this is a delicate topic and you cannot just be making photos of people. They may not like it too much. Maybe you will get into trouble. There is another thing you can do when there is too many people. You can lower the speed of your camera so everyone will look blurry and you will have a really cool result. If you don't have a tripod in the moment, that's not really a problem. You can hold your camera very steady 
and just go ahead and try it. Be as steady as you can and probably you will have something better than what you were trying before. Tip number 5. Make the photo look alive. At least you're making a photo shoot of a model, most people won't know how to pose properly. So if you just take people doing something normal, natural, chilling, doing whatever they are doing, if you are traveling with friends, just make photos when they are doing any kind of activity. Even better if they don't know you're doing the photo. It will look really alive, natural, you won't get these strange positions that people used to make in photos when they are trying to pose like this broken neck or broken hips or a weird position that won't look cool at all. So make your photos look alive. That's it for this video, don't forget to give it a like and to follow me for more photography tips.